I have some really bad news. Apparently, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But don't worry, he's all better, and now he makes chips. Oh, Canada is where the Humpty Dumpty chips are produced, made, packaged, and shipped to places like Maine, which is where I bought today's very unique chips. So these are very unique to me. I was born and raised in America, mainly in New Jersey, not really leaving New Jersey much, much, much not really munching on New Jersey often, just enough to go on vacations, go on road trips, go on business trips, but I've never left the country of America and boy howdy, it's, it's getting real hard to not want to leave here, am I right? Uh... So when I was up in Maine with my partner, my fiance, my, 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 the, the guy who I'm going to marry, I found these on a shelf and I've heard of, of the rumors, I've heard of the tales of an all dressed chip, but I never saw one. I thought they were fake. I thought it was a rumor that was coming through the big media companies from America's hat, which is Canada. Canada's America's hat. Please don't attack me, Canadians. I love Canada. I'm probably going to live there all in you someday. But apparently I had to do some research because I've never heard of the term all dressed. So what an all dressed chip is, is a mixture of the flavors barbecue, ketchup, salt and vinegar, and sour cream and onion. Now I like most of those chips on their own. I've never had a ketchup chip before, um, but I'm assuming it's a lot like a barbecue chip minus the twang of the, the twang. Somebody's playing banjo. That's how you know you're in America. Minus the twang of the, you know, the smokiness of the barbecue. Um, but I've, yeah, I've never had a ketchup chip before. If somebody would like to send me a ketchup chip, because I don't think uh, they are produced here in this country, I would love it. So these are Humpty Dumpty brand, all dressed, ridged or ripples, shareable chips. Now this is, I'm sorry, this is not a shareable size. This is a bag that, you know, I will eat a couple of days. So maybe I'll share it with myself over a few days, but this is a regular potato chip size bag. Um, so it's very it's heavily themed, like the Humpty Dumpty logo is on the back of these chips like three times, as well as the little Humpty Dumpty logo uh, mascot, which in my process of reviewing chips from all over the world, all over this flat globe that we have, we I've noticed that every other country has great mascots, has, you know, attention to detail when it comes to their mascots. Sure, we have you know, the weird guy on Pringles and our cereal mascots, but like we don't have a Mr. Lays and like a, you know, uh, a pop secret guy. Like we don't have those mascots for every single thing where companies and, and other things in like Japan and Asian countries and apparently Canada have those mascots on everything. Hell, I saw a bottle of bleach in our Asian supermarket that had a little kid mopping with it. And it was, it, it made, it made me joy. It made me flush joy all throughout my body onto the floor of this market. The floors were sticky. So let's get into these chips. So I don't know why they're Humpty Dumpty. I guess it's just, it's cute. Humpty Dumpty, uh, of course, you know, is from uh, folklore and, and tales that you tell your kids. Humpty Dumpty was sitting on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty broke and died and somebody made um, an omelet out of Humpty Dumpty. Now. I never knew that chips came in definitions. These are explosive HD flavor. Now HD in my brain means high definition. To them, it's probably Humpty Dumpty. Explosive Humpty Dumpty flavor. Okay, so let's get right into these uh, all dressed flavor. And on the, on the package here, it does have a bottle of ketchup, a bottle, bottle of barbecue sauce, some green onion, some vinegar, some salt and pepper, and some other stuff. And here we go. Ooh, that is a mix of, let me tell you right off the bat, if you do not like vinegar, you will not like this, uh, this experience in this bag. Cause if you think about it, a lot of things that are in this have vinegar. So salt and vinegar chips are vinegar based. Ketchup is a, does have vinegar in it. Barbecue sauce definitely has vinegar in it. 
in it. Sour cream, no vinegar. No vinegar and sour cream. What's the deal with that? Why isn't it fair? Whatever. So the inside looks very um, potato chippy. It's just it's it's just different sized uh, potatoes cut with the ripples or the ridges, as I call them, because ruffles have ridges, and that's the product that's in this brain right here. But they have ripples. So let's dig one out right here. They're not overly powdered. They're not like a Cheeto where, you know, it's, it, it's covered, your fingers are dusty, it, it's gross. But there is a sheen to it. There's a color to it that tells you that it's not just a potato. This potato is all dressed up. We put the bow tie on this. We put the top hat. We gave it a cane. And now it's planters. That's Mr. Peanut. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. You. The main flavor notes I'm getting right away are salt and vinegar and barbecue sauce. I'm not getting the sour cream and onion. Maybe I'm getting the ketchup, but ketchup usually blends in with barbecue sauce because they're the same ingredient. Ketchup is an ingredient in barbecue sauce. So that you're getting that, I'm getting that vinegar tingle, that twinge in the back of my throat, in the back of the jaw, which is, you know, because it's, it, Vinegar is a dominance thing that is in a lot of stuff, and, and vinegar is a very strong flavor in things. They're not necessarily... It's a lot. It's, 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 it's overpowering. It's, it's, it's too many things going on at once, and my brain can't wrap around the flavors individually, which I guess is what they want. They want a flavor mishmash of things. They just want like a soup of all these flavors together, which is fine, but it's still like, it's hard to focus on one thing. There's a lady on a bike. I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna try one more. You know, I can say one thing about these chips compared to a Lay's or any other chips I've had recently. These survived a six and a half hour car drive from Maine to New Jersey from uh, where I purchased them at. And most of the chips in here are still whole, which means they were packaged properly. There was the right amount of air to bag to chip ratio. And they're like, most of them are a solid size chip. The more I'm eating them, the more the vinegar is subsiding a bit because my mouth is getting used to vinegar. I'm not, you know, I don't drink vinegar by the gallon full. But it's still, I'm only getting vinegar and barbecue sauce. I'm not really a huge fan of these right now. You know, if you just called them a barbecue chip, I might enjoy them a little bit more, but right now, I, I am getting the HD, the HD flavor because it is very explosive because vinegar explodes in your mouth, but I'm not getting everything else. And for that, I give the Humpty Dumpty all dressed potato chips a three out of five. Thank you so much for watching The Snack Guy. And until next time, Canada, let me know what other snacks I should try. If you're from other countries, if you're from other parts of the United States, let me know what I should try because these, they were interesting, let me tell you that. Interesting, but not necessarily good, but I like interesting. Go enjoy a snack.